they are creepy and scary and fairy tales like give you that chance to like face your fear and then hopefully fight it and conquer it and stuff. But I loved this uh, fairy tale when I was like five years old. You know, I loved the idea of going into the dark woods and, you know, the big bad wolf. And I made my mom make me a cape, you know, so I had to wear it at Halloween and stuff. But um, this, um, you know, really Leonardo DiCaprio's company came up with the original idea to go back to the oldest versions of it where there was a werewolf involved, you know, from the 1500s, you know, and do that kind of a new, tw you know, I guess you would call it a new twist, even though it was really, you know, from the ancient stories. And I just loved what they had created, this crazy, mysterious world. You know. She was my instant choice, because when you're like kind of just thinking it, visualizing a film, who doesn't, to me, she came as a fairy tale creature. She looks like she's out of a fairy tale. That face, and it's very, you know, she's very capable of conveying all that emotion and the fear and the vulnerability. So I loved Amanda. And then I had to find, you know, how do you balance her? And I like to involve, you know, the leading lady in the casting of the men that she has to interact with. So we had those chemistry reads to see, you know, who did she have sparks with? In, in the original fairy tale, the little girl, Red Riding Hood, comes to a fork in the road and she has a choice to keep on following kind of like her pleasure of picking flowers or go st straight to her grandmother's house. So in a way, the two men represent that. One of them is the person that she feels like just attracted to physically and mentally attracted to, like her soulmate, and that's so sexy, great connection, that's Peter. And then the other one is the more safe, a good man, and that's the one that her mother wants her to be with. So she has this choice, so the two men kind of represent that part of the fairy tale, the pleasure principle or the reality principle. <laughs> and so Shiloh is the more mysterious character, you know, that has like a darker background, and we don't quite know what he feels, but he represents, let's run away. In the first scene, they're going to run away and follow their passions. And then Max represents a good person and he is like a beautiful good choice that you so it's a difficult choice between you know like super hot sexy or super hot that's a good wealthy person <laughs> not a bad choice yeah Amanda is just like a ball of fire. She's like a wildcat. She's super funny, sexy, fun, and unpredictable. She'll just do like crazy stuff, but she's like so professional too. When you only have five minutes to shoot and like, I'm sorry, but your close up is going to be done like in two minutes. She's like, okay, let's do it. I'm up for it. I was so fortunate to work with, you know, one of the legend, two legends, I mean, Julie Christie, Academy Award winning, and just beautiful movies, and still, like, whip smart and wicked and funny and hot, and um, Gary Oldman, who's like, you know, we kind of, everybody on the set kind of worshipped him, had a big crush on him, because he's just funny and wicked, but he's so powerful and he's so intense at every moment when the camera's on him, he's there. And he makes it convincing and believable, you know, even if he's doing a supernatural movie or an extraordinary movie like Harry Potter or Batman or Red Riding Hood, he takes you right there and you're in it with him. I love that idea that anybody that you know could have a dark side. <laughs> they could be going on the internet doing something strange at night. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a modern parallel, I think. But when, when Father Solomon comes in, Gary Oldman's character comes in, and he tells you it could be someone in this village, even he was deceived by his own wife. You know, so we start suspecting each person. And I wanted you to be able to go back and watch the movie and, and not be tricked by the filmmaker, but realize why each character is doing what they're doing and why you were deceived for a moment.
Vancouver is stunning. It's the most beautiful place to be, and you've got all the, you know, the waterways and the whales and the forests. So it was a pleasure to be there.